Morning guys, happy Monday morning motivation. Well, here I am, not out walking in the country like you used to, but instead 13 stories up high above Fort Worth in an unfamiliar place, in an unfamiliar situation. And I'm thinking about a man of God who also found himself in an unfamiliar place, in an unfamiliar situation and how he handled that. I'm thinking today about David. David was a shepherd boy, used to country life, sitting in the fields with the sheep. Found himself thrust onto the battlefield, standing in front of Goliath. And having defeated that, later he found himself staying in the palace, far away from those fields that he knew, taking care of the king, doing things in a situation, in a place he had never been exposed to before. And the way he handled both those situations, the battlefield and the palace, were determined by what he did when he was out in the field. See, it was his time in the field that helped him understand who he was in God's eyes. He knew from his time in the field that he was a shepherd, that he was anointed as king, and that he was called of God. He knew what his job was, okay? And knowing what your position and what your job is, is very important. Secondly, the only second thing that he needed was that he knew how to worship God. He knew how to call on God's name and receive help from heaven. And this is what I'm imploring you today. When you find yourself in unusual situations, in places unfamiliar, in situations that you have never encountered before, as many of us have this year and most likely will next year too, the two things that you need is to know what your job is, what God has called you to do and who you are in your identity with God as his beloved, as his child, as his called one and know how to worship him, know how to love and adore the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords and how to call on heaven for help. And if you understand those two things, then there is no situation, no attack, no weird circumstance that God can't help you with. All right. I love y'all. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.